What is up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to make the wagon loud again. We're going to uh, get those muffler delete pipes that I had. We're going to cut the flanges and weld them on so that they're gonna fit the new exhaust and it's pretty much gonna be a three inch straight piped exhaust except for the, the tiny little mufflers like the hot dogs that you've got in the middle. Alrighty, first off, I wanna talk about the stickers though. You guys are absolutely crushing it on the stickers at the moment. We are smashing through sales. We, we almost can't keep up with them. And the, yeah, still, again, the main thing is that people aren't just buying one sticker, they're buying multiples. Give me a sec and I'll tell you who is leading at the moment who has purchased the most stickers in one go. So by just looking into it, I couldn't quite see his name without properly delving into the software and getting all the shipping labels and everything. But whoever you are with the email, Injected Calais, you've you've outgone and like raised the bar. You you ordered six stickers. Six stickers, that is, that's crazy. That, that blew our minds when we saw it, we couldn't believe it. If you were to beat that, the bar has now been raised to six stickers. I, I'll be interested to whoever can beat that. And I think from now on, whoever whoever can raise it to the, the next amount and the next amount and whoever orders the most, I think, I think we'll just have to uh, give you something special on top of that as well. Um, alrighty, so now we're going to uh, kick it over to my mate Will's place. He's my uh, welder fabricating friend. He, uh, he was the one that originally put the tips on the muffler, muffler deletes in the first place. So the three and a half inch tips. So yeah, we're gonna jump over to his place now and we're going to start on that project. All right, so the idea of what we're doing is we've now got the flange. We're gonna bolt it here, then sit the pipe up in there and see how much we're gonna to need to trim just to get it to uh, sit in there nicely. So we've already done the cutting, but pretty much what we're doing is the uh, distance between this bend and then the actual flange is luckily a little bit longer between the bend here and the flange here. So the, we only have to trim this a tiny bit and then it'll meet the flange perfectly on the car and then you can just we can just weld them on it would have been a nightmare if we had to uh extend this somehow probably a job that we wouldn't have even tried to do maybe i don't know but luckily we just needed a little bit of trimming on this and then it'll fit in there nicely i'm sitting where it needs to be you can kind of see just how much it doesn't line up so we'll just trim off that this top edge a bit until it sits flush with the flange weld it on and bobs your uncle I don't feel like <laughs> So disconnected the battery so that people can't get angry at me for not doing that. And now we're just gonna tack it in place so then we can take it off the car and weld it on properly. Just cooled down the weld. We're about to start the other side, but we're just gonna bolt this left one in, make sure that it's at the right positioning because we would hate to weld the right side and they're on different angles to each other and it doesn't match. Um, so I came to start this in here for the first time. I have to say there's, there's no better feeling between putting on a new exhaust and getting new wheels. The two things that change a car the most. So they're the most exciting things ever. Keen to hear this. We actually noticed is these flanges for a two and a half inch exhaust, not a three inch exhaust, and you can actually see the carbon build up. And uh, as Will probably said, or as Will did say, they would have been uh, blocking the flow a bit and also probably changing the sound a little bit too. So we've just used a uh, gasket goop this time instead of actually using a physical gasket, um, which will be perfect. But we're just cleaning up now because we finished it off. So we should be able to drop it on the ground and listen to how it sounds. Bigger. Wow. 
All right, so we're back now. I've got the uh, car rig on the back of the wagon, so you are gonna be looking at nothing but the ground, but uh, you're gonna be able to hear it. I haven't got Indy to be able to follow behind to hear what it would sound like behind the car, but we'll get a top-down view of what it sounds like now. All right, let's get into this. All right, so it's really windy out, so I really hope that it doesn't ruin the recordings, and as well, it's really loud, so we'll see how well the recording goes, but uh, yeah, I'll show you the rig, and then we'll uh, get rolling into it. see me from that angle but this will be the in-car test to show you how much it drones because it can drone like a bitch Ooh, when it gets about two grand that's where it's just killing your head Outside, it looked like it was taking on a lot of wind. Try and drive it semi quiet around where I live. Don't want to annoy too many people. I mean, like, the drone is terrible, but if I was going to do a long distance drive in this, which I don't really plan on doing anymore. Um, I just ch chuck the mufflers on because the mufflers, it still sounds amazing. It's just really quiet. And uh, luckily the camera rig survived and I didn't lose my microfibers in the wind. Uh, I'll be interested to see, I did see that the, this is called the dead cat. I saw that this is going crazy in the wind. So uh, be interesting to see if it got any footage whatsoever, but I just watched back the footage that was on this and uh, yeah, it sounded pretty good. I finally decided to pull the Summonite's entrance stickers off the wagon too. So uh, this is kind of what I was talking about with the idea that I wanted uh, inside the house. And then once this fills up, this will be its own kind of framed picture, I guess, in a way. And I'll take the uh, Hertz RX-7 from Hoonigan. I'll take it out and put it in another frame. So I have two different pictures. But that'll be years and years before it gets to that rate. But uh, yeah, I love that. But yeah, anyways, conclusion. Wagon is loud. Wagon sounds fat again. Um, daily driving. Don't know how possible it would really be. Because especially in like third and fourth gear around two grand, that drone could kill you. But that's what you get. It's a, it's a straight pipe to V8 with a three inch exhaust. Like, what do you expect? But other than that, it sounds wicked. So, and like I was saying in the car, if I'm ever going to plan on doing any long trips or anything, which I don't with the wagon in the foreseeable future, um, I'll just put on the mufflers. It takes 30 seconds to put them on, 30 seconds to take them off. It's really not that hard. And once the car is bagged, I can literally just raise the car up as high as it'll go, lay under it, do it, smash it, done. But... That's gonna be the end of today's video. I'm really happy with the way the wagon sounds right now. I wish there was a way that I could get rid of the drone. A lot of people use like J-pipes where at the very end of the exhaust, it does a, a 180 degree turn and turns back on itself. Apparently that can eliminate the drone. But at the same time, you heard when I was fully into it and when I was just normally driving, you don't get that drone. Um, when you're fully into it, you don't get it at all. When you're normally driving, you get it for a split second. But yeah, it sounds great. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you wanna buy any stickers, Link is in the description below. Grab as many as you can. The record at the moment is at six. Try and outdo that. Make sure that if you do buy some stickers, 
whack them in your car, take some sick photos, put them on Instagram and tag us, picnic underscore media, because we want to see it. I really want to see your cars with a, with a sticker on it. Again, I'm very grateful, very thankful for how many of you have already bought stickers. And for the people that are still waiting on theirs to be shipped out, that will happen any day now. Without Indy here, I'm not as efficient and it's a bit harder to do, but I promise you they'll be out soon. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next video on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Not quite sure what we're gonna do just yet. I have had a lot of people request that I do that video about talking about the summer nights and how I worked there and some of the stories that I had from there. So I might do that. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next one, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Subscribe if you're new here, ring the notification bell. Alrighty guys, catch ya, peace. You bitching and bugging, there's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper, got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat, I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining, okay.